to download a DLL file, you need to go on to the service and support portal. And I believe you can only do the downloads if you have Chrome browser. Let's do the Modbus. Here's the file. And you have to create a login. Once you've logged in, you can click on the file. And it has downloaded. All of my EDD files are FSX30. Here's one, here's another, and here's another one. I just wanted to point out there's a separate Modbus for the service channel versus the Modbus through the uh, Modbus port on the meter. This one is through channel one on the meter. And this one is through the service port. And that's why you'll see Modbus and Modbus again, but through the service channel. Next, you'll want to find this device integration manager. Accept the license. Look for this symbol on top. Read device descriptors from compressed sources. This box will open up and you can search for the EDD that you're going to import. So far I have already loaded the surface channel EDD and the one below it which is hard. So let's do the regular channel one input for Modbus. Okay. This will open up. Make sure these are all checked by clicking on devices. Then you come up to integration and click. If you get this message, you may already be running PDM in the background, so close it. Let's try it again. And there she goes. It's done. I'm done with this, so I can close it. And now I can open PDM. File, new, let's do heart because that's what I currently have hooked up. But the steps should be the same. We'll put today's date. Open these up. Network, insert a communications network. Assign a device type, networks, and here are the ones that uh, we've already loaded onto the meter. So I'm just using a USB dongle to the uh, channel one for my heart. So it's, it's heart, not a heart server. Heart modem network. Okay. Okay again. Now we have a new icon. This is the uh, PC. Double click. Com port interface. Double click. 
you have to find which port on your device manager. I see my Viator heart modem is on COM3. So I can change this. I think it only goes up to 1200. That's the transmission rate. The parity doesn't seem to matter. Right click, insert object, type. Now you can choose what type of meter you have. So sensors, device revision six, and we're looking for clamp on. So if three choices, gas, hydrocarbon, or water, this happens to be a hydrocarbon. So let's go with that. Okay. And that's it. Now we should be able to just right click open object. This opens. Now, if I got the communications right, I should be able to just upload to the PC. So now it's starting to read from the meter. By the way, uh, you need a 250 ohm resistor across the pins. Okay, if you're using hard, uh, with a USB to heart modem. Uh, first of all, you have to land a resistor across uh, either four and five or five and six, depending on whether your meter is running as active or passive. It says equal to or greater than 230 ohms, but less than 500 ohms. So somewhere in that region um, and uh, so here is the active where the resistor is just going across and you're going to hook up your alligator clips to one side and the other side it's in order for you to get the voltage drop for the data to work same thing with the passive but it needs to be externally powered and that's why this symbol here for a power source is in this picture. And now this has finished. So I can close this and it just populated with all of my information from this meter. And I can use the wizards to begin my programming.